Hey everyone and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Today I want to talk about kind of a controversial topic in the community, and that is free aim lobbies. Many people are upset that they aren't in the game, and I actually was too at first, but after playing the online mode and seeing how the PvP is, the mechanics and stuff, it made me think, would free aim actually be able to keep the same kind of gameplay and pacing that auto aim does? And with the mechanics in play, would it be a good enough experience to even include at all? And unfortunately, I think the answer is no. And I'm going to argue why I don't think free aim lobbies should even be a thing in Red Dead Online. And before everyone starts disliking the video out of hate, thinking I'm an auto aim noob and I suck at the game, I actually prefer free aim in GTA Online, and I always play in free aim lobbies when I do play GTA Online, but this is different. My first reason has nothing to do with the gameplay itself, but rather behind the scenes from a technical perspective. When you have free aim in auto aim lobbies, or free aim in auto aim in separate lobbies, you essentially split the total matchmaking pool in half. Now, I don't think half the player base plays free aim, so that's kind of a rough estimate, but the point is, it gets split up. I'm not sure exactly how many players are playing Red Dead Online, but I don't think it's anywhere near as popular as GTA Online is, and if the player base is split up, this could potentially cause slower matchmaking times to both missions and death matches. Right now, it might not seem like an issue, but when more and more game modes and missions come out, not everyone is going to be playing the same three or so modes that we have now, like the racing and the two showdown series types. And this is also probably why you can't just matchmake for specifically one mode, because it would increase matchmaking times. GTA Online did this with its enormous amount of game modes, and now the old ones are near impossible to find people to even play with. Like, when is the last time you played the game mode Top Fun in GTA Online? 2013? Moving away from the technical side of things, let's go over why the mechanics of the game will not work well with free aim at all. First of all, the tackling feature. If free aim lobbies were to come to Red Dead Online, it would become a tackling simulator. In the gameplay, I'm showing some clips I have of tackling and meleeing people in general, and notice how easy it is to get close to someone to tackle them just in auto aim. And by the way, in case you weren't aware, tackling people while you were holding the lasso is an instant kill for you pretty much because they don't have enough time to get out before you can whip out a gun and headshot them when they're lying down. But now imagine this in a free aim only lobby. You know, you have someone running at you, doing a zigzag formation, and you're just standing still popping shots at them with the repeater. While headshotting them is going to be hard with the amount of bloom in the game after every shot, paired with the movement speed of the enemy player. But let's say you manage to headshot them before they tackle you. Congrats, you got a kill. But here's what's going to go on in the other player's mind. Hmm, that guy headshotted me, why don't I go switch up my abilities? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on this Deadeye card where it decreases the accuracy of the person shooting at me while Deadeye is active, and this passive card that decreases the damage I take while holding a melee weapon, and this one that decreases the damage I take from bullets while sprinting. Oh, and to top it off, this passive ability that lets my hat block a headshot. Now if he runs at you, you're going to have to headshot him twice because of that ability, and he's got all those defense buffs which, by the way, can be upgraded to increase the damage reduction. Pair that with the semi-auto, bolt-action nature of the weapons in this game and their accuracy bloom, and the chances are you're going to get tackled before you kill the guy. Of course, people try to do this on GTA Online in free aim, running up to you and beating you with their gun, but you're talking about automatic weapons that are laser beam accurate in that game. Much easier to kill someone running at you in that situation. You could pull out a shotgun, but still, what kind of experience is free aim when everyone is just going to spam shotguns? And let's just say you're having a free aim gunfight, there's also the dive mechanic that makes it really difficult to hit your opponent. It's gonna look extremely goofy, two people having a free aim gunfight, especially if they have that hat ability where it blocks a headshot. You're gonna waste so much ammo missing shots. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Personally, I don't think free aim would be good for this game, given how the gunplay and mechanics work, but I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more Red Dead Online content, and as always... Thanks for watching, have a great day.